is the 2020-2021 Winter Outlook for the State of Arizona, presented to you by the National Weather Service offices in Phoenix, Tucson, Flagstaff, and Las Vegas. As we head into the winter season, it's important to take a look back and see where we've been. Let's focus on precipitation. Unfortunately, precipitation has been well below normal in 2020 for most of Arizona, during both the calendar year and during the monsoon. Monsoon 2020 was the driest ever recorded for every county in the state. When averaged over the entire state, it was the driest by a tremendously large margin. Almost half that of the previous driest year of 2009 and less than one third of the monsoon normal. Given the lack of precipitation over the past year, we are clearly going into winter 2020-2021 with a significant precipitation deficit. The latest drought monitor shows the entire state in drought with a significant portion of the state in extreme drought and the Phoenix and Tucson metro areas in exceptional drought. Here is a look at precipitation in the winter as a percent of annual precipitation. In the three month period of December through February, about 20 to 40% of the annual precipitation is expected in a typical year. Notice on the map that the southern and eastern portions of Arizona are a bit less reliant on winter precipitation compared to the lower deserts and Colorado River Valley. Within the winter, precipitation amounts are fairly evenly distributed each month, December through February. Additionally, precipitation is common on either side of winter in November and March. The highest amounts of precipitation occur across the higher elevations of the Mogollon Rim and White Mountains, with less precipitation across the lower elevations, including Phoenix and Tucson. El Nino or La Nina, the warmer or cooler than normal waters in the equatorial Pacific Ocean, tend to have a significant impact on atmospheric patterns and thus the observed weather across Arizona during the winter months. This year, a La Nina is currently in place and is expected to continue through the winter. This graphic depicts the typical La Nina pattern, where the jet stream and storm track remain well to the north of Arizona, placing the region in a drier than normal regime. Here is another way of looking at the correlation of La Nina to winter precipitation. This graphic depicts as blue dots each La Nina event since 1950 and compares it to average precipitation in December through March of around 4 inches in central Arizona. With a couple of exceptions, the vast majority of La Nina events resulted in below normal precipitation. This graphic shows seasonal snowfall in Flagstaff during both El Nino and La Nina events. As expected, during La Nina, snowfall is below average. The official forecast from the Climate Prediction Center depicts a high likelihood of above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation. While this certainly isn't a guarantee, the odds are just about as good as it gets for a longer range forecast. With dry conditions expected this winter, we wanted to touch upon some impacts that may result from that. The graphic on the right shows expected runoff due to snow water equivalent into the Colorado River Basin during La Nina years compared to the 1981 through 2010 long-term average. The graphic does show a few years had above normal snow melt, while on the other end there were a couple of years with very little. The most likely scenario is for snow melt to be near to below average, which could reduce reservoir storage next year. Another long-term concern beyond the winter is for wildfires. Due to dryness, grasses in the lower elevations are less likely to be prevalent, which could result in wildfire risk transitioning to the higher elevations. We'll have to wait and see how this winter turns out before knowing for sure. Let's switch gears and talk about winter weather safety. Even though the winter is expected to see below normal precipitation, it only takes one or two significant storms to still cause major issues, especially in the mountains due to snow. The same applies to temperatures, where a cold snap or two could cause problems with freezes or hard freezes in the deserts. Remember to keep tabs on the weather through the winter and check out az511.gov for the latest on road conditions from the Arizona Department of Transportation. In the lower elevations and deserts, we will continue to see long stretches between precipitation. One thing to keep in mind, not just during the winter, but year-round across Arizona is that roads become quite slick after long dry stretches due to oil and debris that accumulates on the roads. When precipitation first starts, it's best to take some extra precaution by slowing down and leaving extra distance between vehicles. That concludes the 2020 to 2021 winter outlook from your National Weather Service offices serving Arizona. Thank you and stay safe this winter.